Right, yes, hello, and welcome back to Free Vinyl Discovery, the show where I'm going through a selection of albums that I inherited on vinyl at no cost of my own. Today, we're looking at an artist that's very familiar to me, an artist that I have had a lot of time to get to know, but have only listened to one album of so far, and haven't actually said that many great things about. We're talking about Dire Straits today, and their 1985 album, Brothers in Arms. Now, leading up to this point, I have mainly assumed that Dire Straits were a singles band. Reason being, I like the singles, but I did not particularly care for the full title album from 1978. I think that the main songs on that album were very good, but the rest was very forgettable, and it made me think, wow, I'm not going near a Dire Straits album again, if that's what the whole experience is going to be like. Just stick with the songs I know. Well... This one turned up in the pile, and boy, am I glad that it did, because whew, I've changed my mind completely. This shows the Dire Straits weren't just a singles band, and that maybe that debut album was just not as well-crafted as they're capable of. This album is terrific. Let's talk about the condition of it first of all, this physical copy. Um, from this side, it looks fab. A couple of little marks, but no complaints. Um, the back has this weird mystery stain on it, um, but it's free. I'm not complaining. The sleeve on the inside, it's a little bit... Uh, well, it's, it's got three holes in it now, and that's more than a sleeve should have, as far as I've gathered. A sleeve should only have one hole. This album, though, played tremendously well. It didn't skip at all, as far as I could tell. Um, of course, I have only heard the songs on vinyl, so then I do have a suspicion that one or two of them might have skipped, but not the important tracks. The important tracks on this album are Money For Nothing, with its cameo of Sting, Walk Of Life, with its wonderful little um, organ part, and also Your Latest Trick and Why Worry are sure not amazing tracks. There's a reason why they're not as famous as the two that have come before it, but they actually play out the A side really nicely. The B side is a little bit more forgettable, but it ends off with Brothers in Arms, which is such a phenomenal number. It's about the Falklands War. It's got this overarching message of camaraderie that actually transcends borders and that actually everyone involved in that war was a victim. They were all Brothers in Arms. And it's so moody and pensive, and I love it for that. And having that bit of context behind it just enriches the experience from that. And I think it's quite telling that that's the title track. Clearly, that is the sort of message they were trying to put forward this. They're trying to get people to switch on to their ideas. And it's, in terms of tone, it's a bit of a roller coaster. I mean, Walk of Life is a very positive track. Money for Nothing is a bit more cynical. But I like the fact that it's going around and changing tone. I think it's very interesting. And it shows that Dire Straits were more than just a strum the guitar kind of band. I definitely didn't give them enough credit listening to the debut. It's an album that I also inherited, but from my parents. So I didn't go out of my way to find it and listen to it. And I was like, meh, something to swing is good. But this, this requires a bit more of your attention. I definitely recommend listening to this album. Certainly the A-side, certainly the main tracks like Money For Nothing, Walk of Life and Brothers in Arms, but also check out those um, last tracks on the A-side, your latest trick and Why Worry. Uh, Why Worry in particular is a really nice number, much slower than you would expect Dire Straits to be. So, what's your experience with Dire Straits? Do you echo my sentiment or are you of the opinion that maybe they're just a singles band? But my follow-up question to that would be, have you listened to this album? Uh, if you have and you still think it, let me know anyway. We can have a nice little chat in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.